Just a few short days ago, NVIDIA announced their new 30 series video cards. The 3070, 3080, and 3090. And the dollar to performance ratio on these new GPUs is astonishing. We've got over here all the specs for you. The RTX 3070 is going to run 499, and it's going to have a similar performance, actually a little bit better performance than the 2080 Ti, which is incredible for a card that was, you know, over a thousand dollars. Now you can get better performance for 499. The RTX 3080 for 699, and then the massively, incredibly 8K capable 1499 for the RTX 3090. Now this got me thinking, several months ago, you know, when the specs for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X uh, became public, people started wondering, is it possible to build a PC to beat or match those specs for less or comparable to what those consoles are likely to sell for? We're looking at probably five or six hundred dollars, right? Let's say six hundred to go onto the high end. Could you build a PC with the PS5, Xbox Series X performance? for $600 or in that area. The reason I bring this up now is because these cards have brought the price to performance down pretty heavily. So what I want to do is I want to look at the specs that the, the best experts I can find online kind of put together that, that say this is what a PS5, if you built it yourself, this is what you'd be using. I want to look at that price and then I want to see if these new RTX cards could possibly help us bring the price down either now or in the future. PCPartPicker.com, awesome website. You can actually build a computer here and it'll, it'll help you make sure things are compatible with each other. And it'll actually give you links to buy all these things at different websites, prices, awesome website. So I found different people online that kind of came up with different specs. I, I actually Googled you know, I did I did a lot of a lot of browsing here and found about six different people's opinions, and they all seem to be very similar and very similarly reasoned. So this is what it would cost today: AMD Ryzen 3700X, 3.6 gigahertz, eight core processor. You're probably going to that actually might be a little bit better than what is in the PS5, but it's going to be really close. Cheapest motherboard I could find. Cheapest RAM I could find. This is not optimal. I'm going for price. I'm trying to get close for the price. Cheapest M.2 drive I could find. That's going to get the shit kicked out of it by what's in the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, in particular the PS5. I did a 5600 XT, and it's only got 6 gigs of VRAM. So this is worse, again, than more than likely going to be worse than what's in the PS5. $309. Cheapest case cheapest power supply that could get the job done you're looking at 875 so this is like cheapest case scenario to build a ps5 875 dollars okay so how do the new rtx cards interface with this is this going to help us bring the price down at all so the rtx 3070 is the cheapest of the new group and it's 499 for the msrp that's not going to help us that's actually 200 dollars more than the 5600 xt that being said we don't need the performance of the RTX 3070. That's going to be a lot more powerful than what's going to be in the next-gen consoles. We can come down. The RTX 3070 is a pretty good increase over the RTX 2080. All right, so we don't have a benchmark to compare quite yet against the 5600 XT, 5700 XT, because the card's not out yet, but we can compare it to the 2080 Ti and assume it'll be an even bigger gap when you compare it to the RTX 3070. So 2080 Ti versus RX 5700 XT. Well, the 2080 is kicking the absolute crap out of it. It's a 60% faster card according to user benchmark. What about the 5700? Well, that's a 35% increase. So we wouldn't need a 3700. So here's where things get a little bit more interesting. What does an RTX 3060 look like? Is it 399? Is it 350? We're getting closer. Could there be an RTX 3050 or 3050 Ti, much like there was a 1050 Ti? Could they go even lower down and produce a card that's $200 that would be in a similar range to the 5600 XT, 5700, 5700 XT? I think that is entirely possible. So let's look at this 
best case scenario, cheapest thing we could build. And we're at 309 here. Well, let's say, let's imagine there's an RTX 3050, which matches this card's performance or might be, you know, a little bit better than, and it's $200. Well, we're still at 775. I want to really emphasize the fact that these new consoles are actually using new state-of-the-art hardware. We're not even continuing with the, the, the speeds of the hard drive and things like that. For the first time in a really, really long time, the new consoles are actually in a place where I don't know how they're making them for that price. The PS4 was using, you know, several year old tech already by the time it came out. This stuff is brand new. The CPU that I've got listed here, the one that's going to be in the PS5 is a newer processor. These things are out. The, the GPU, Big Navi, this stuff is not out yet. Our DNA, well, it's a mixture apparently of 2.0 and 3.0. That doesn't matter. So as a PC gaming enthusiast, if you've got five or six hundred dollars to spend and no gaming, you know, system PC at all, you're starting from scratch. It's really hard for me not to say, just go buy the PS5, go buy the Xbox Series X. It's going to be a better bang for your buck than trying to build the PC, which for years, that would have been my answer. The paradigm has shifted. RTX 30 series cards are going to bridge the gap. Maybe in two or three years, it'll be back to normal again. But for right now, you might just want to buy the new console. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks as always for your continued support.